Hey guys, I'm back with another beer review and like I promised, we have the Strasse Brouwers in the house and they are well known in Belgium and now all across the world actually because they do exports and stuff. Clash of the Titans, this one is called. We have the Special Reserva and the Grand Reserva. The Special one comes in at 12% ABV and the Grand Reserva comes in at 12.6% ABV. Now, I'm gonna read what's on there because I know it's been barrel aged, of course, uh, for 36 months, Ooh, but yeah. I'm gonna read it. It's really small, but I'm gonna try to read it, guys, for you. Uh, the Special Reserva has been matured for 36 months at Swiss Brewery in GG Space P site, whiskey barrels from Rhodes, Scotland. Okay, that's amazing. PX Sherry barrels from Jerry, Spain and blended with a Swiss Grand Cru version that matured at 2,346 meters of altitude. Amazing! So this one comes with 12% ABV. We're gonna start with this one first. Then we go later over to the Grand Cru, what is even heavier ABV-wise. But yeah, amazing all these barrels mixed together. But like three barrels, it's uh, kind of amazing. It's 36 months. That counts uh, for the first one. You can see there is a date on there, 2-10-2018. So that means indeed the brew date and then it is still good. Now we are 2021, so it's 7-12-2021. It's been in the bottles like, yeah, it's been bottled. And then you got to count five years plus. So they are still nice for five years. But like you all know guys, when you're talking about dark beers that go higher in ABV or even with our Orval in Belgium, you might know Orval very, very well, the Travis beer, um, you know they could last a longer time. I think, I, I doubt this one is going to catch plus 10 years easy and it only gets better after all these years. Okay, back to the beer, ruby red shine to it. Like mahogany a little bit, uh, not mahogany, but it's kind of brownish with the, the yeah from the cherries and uh, all these beautiful barrels from Scotland and from what do we had? Uh, I, I think it was Switzerland or something. Yeah, Swiss, and then Scotland, Spain. Yeah, Spain. It was Spain. Oh, I was hiding away, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I was uh, hidden away. So. Okay, we're gonna try it first on the nose. Cheers, guys. Not much of a head to it, you can see it. So we're gonna try it. It smells really boozy. It smells like orbels, but you get your... I get much of red wine. You got your grapes, maybe a little bit. You got your figs, your prunes, uh, dry fruits, loads of them. Quite boozy, really boozy. Like lots of woody, oats, no, oaty, woody. The barrels indeed are very present. Uh, <laughs> I'm rather sure this is going to be a rather high EBV feel to it. A warming sensation, like I always say, uh, with some higher alcohol feel. Uh, really boozy, that means. Um, but we gotta try it. We really gotta try it. Because, yeah, I'm really curious. It's gonna be like sometimes they do smoked, uh, smoke it a little bit or something. These guys experiment a lot they don't say what's actually in there but i know for sure it's been overloaded with ingredients and they tried it like many times to make it really balanced more balance uh, balanced because it's still a barley wine mm. so i'm gonna try it cheers guys And indeed, it is a barley wine. It is boozy. It is boozy. You do get the alcohol. I do get some vanilla also. Red wine, for sure. It's really woody. It's oaky. Your dry fruits, like I was mentioning before. It's really special. You, you have to like the style barley wine. It goes really much to whiskey, much more to whiskey than you think. Um, am I a fan of this? That's not the, the question here. The question is, 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 is it brewed uh, well? Is the beer made well? That's the most important thing. 
And of course, I had some barley wines before, and I can tell you, this one is beautifully made again. And uh, loads of work they put in there, for sure. And there is much more going on, in my opinion, than just these things, because it feels kind of hoppy also. What? What is a thing you won't expect with these beers, no, with no, the no, barley no. wine style? I get some hoppiness, the fruitiness, the berries in there from the red wine, then the grapes that will be in there. It's all a combination, of course. The barrels they aged it in, is it going to be more sweet? Is it... This feels much more boozy. Um, when you like these boozy beers and you want a full-bodied beer, you can't go wrong with Strasse Brouwers. That's a thing, that's for sure. So, a uh, great one. I'm going to tell you the rating later. Maybe I give it them the same rating. I don't know. I, I'll just give it a rating. I give it, I will give it eight out of ten. The special Reserva. I have seen much higher scores ratings for this one, for the special Reserva, but it's just my opinion, of course. Again, uh, my personal thing, my personal rating. So don't, you don't have to believe me about rating. But I tell you, it is a well brewed barley wine. Okay. Here is number two, the Grand Reserva, coming in at 12.6% ABV. And now I'm going to try not to hide myself behind the glass with the beer in. Okay, this one has, in my opinion, almost the same color than this one. You can see it. It's Yeah, it's quite similar. These two, also the redness to it. I gotta keep in mind, that's a special Reserva when I drink it later, of course. It's quite important. Okay, they are different barrels because the GG Spy Side, and here it is the wine barrels from Switzerland. So it is a different barrel. The other ones are quite similar, the barrels. Uh, we have the one from Spain, and the sherry bar barrels from Spain, and then the only difference is the first barrel, indeed. They just switched the first barrel, so that's where the Grand Reserva comes in. Also, aged 36 months, that's the only difference. So the other two barrels, the cherry bar barrel and the other whiskey barrel, must be still in there, the taste. So what is this one barrel gonna do? Mm. I don't know for sure. This wine barrel. Maybe give it even more Venus stage. Video stage. Video stage. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. We gotta try it, guys. First of all, cheers. This smells more, more malty, more vanilla wise, more cacao. I I know it's not cacao. It's caramelly. Yeah, it's more caramel. Much more red wine. That's one. The first one, special reserve, was much more boozy. On the nose than this one. Okay, we're gonna try it. Cheers, guys. Quite different. It is quite different. I prefer this one. It doesn't feel that boozy. Maybe it could be because I had the, the first one, the special reserve of before. It could be <laughs> that this feels less boozy, but we're gonna try it. I'm, I'm gonna prove myself wrong. I'm going to try the first one again. Mm. This one is much sharper. It is more boozy. It is more on the alcohol side. Yeah, it's stronger. With the spice side, this one is much stronger. This one feels much thicker in taste and much... Uh, fuller, I don't, I won't say fuller, but much more like I said, caramel notes to it. I prefer this one. Yeah, this much is this one is much much better. Not much much better, but it is better than the first one, and that's just by switching one barrel. What is kind of amazing. So if you can find it. The Grand Crew, I would recommend this one. Oh, this one, I mean. The Grand Crew. The Grand Crew, or this one, 
Special Reserva. If you like your really more to the whiskey side, um, I would buy this one, the more boozy one, and my uh, my uh, own taste goes out to this one. The, my winner for this evening is this one, the Grand Reserva. Yeah, the Grand Reserva it is Grand Cru. I almost will always say, but I read this, I read it somewhere. It was the Grand Cru, the the, the last barrel they did it. Uh, Grand Reserva, I mean. It comes in at a higher ABV, but it smells, it tastes less boozy. Well, that is an awesome thing. This one gets for me more. I'm gonna go with eight and a half for this one. That's my favorite for the night, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, a beer day keeps out the way. Cheers.